Okay, and I'm also going to enter default value for all of those list boxes. So let's come right down here. I'm just going to enter zero in there. There. Okay, so now that that is done, let's double click on this other one here. So double click on it, and right there, I'm just going to enter LDL as bread dot text. And that is equals to I'm gonna get it formatted to currency. Format to currency, and that is going to be whatever we have inside number bread dot value. There we go. Now the constant I have a constant in here for the bread, so I'm gonna call that the constant. I need to create more constant for the rest items anyway. It's going to be multiplied by bread. There. So if I run it now, and let's see, come on. Yeah, there we go. And when the price decreases, that decreases as well. Maybe we should just default that to pound sign as well. I don't know, but that's fine. Okay, now let's come up here. I now need to create the rest constant. The next one is going to be for rice. I have rice, milk, and some and one other one. So let's change this one to rice. And I'm gonna change the price of rice to maybe about let's say two zero five. Yeah, that's fine. And I have milk. And then let's see what else do I have. I will have wine, beans. I have wine. Then I also have beans. In total, is five. There, those are my constant variable. So the wine we can just make that seven. Nine, nine, and the milk, maybe let's say zero point. The beans, let's change the beans to about one, one point five eight. There, those are all my constants in place. As you can see, if you notice, this one is. These other ones are grayed out because I haven't used those ones. So now let's go into that of rice. Double click on rice, and in there is exactly the same lines of code. So that's going to be LBL rice, LBL rice dot test. This is a very good tutorial for beginners. So the coding is easy and you can just follow it easily so let's say number rise number rise let's see if we can see number rise yeah we do have number rise multiply that by rise there so when we run it this is what you oh let's see what happened there i have stopped that what did i do wrong Rice, don't I have a variable called rice? Yes, I do. Dot value. I'm rice dot value. Is that in there? That's fine. So let's run it now. There we go. And let's see that of rice. You see that? Come back down. And down as well. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's repeat exactly the same thing for beans, wine, and milk. Double click on. Okay, number four. So that is for beans. LBL beans. The text equals format. Beans that number beans the value. Let's copy all of that. Paste that in here. And 
put a dot in here and multiply that by variable bins there done now the next one let's copy that come here for the next one is y paste that in there and change everything here to y This is one as well. One here. And one here. Sorted. Now, we repeat the same thing for milk. For the milk. I'm going to copy this and just paste them there and just change the rest to milk. That's milk here. That is it all taken care of. Run. Let's see how that's going to look like. Okay, we can now enter whatever we want in there. Yeah, and wine, milk. So we now need this button to add up everything in here. Add all of this up, add this up. Uh, this might be for receipt and clear exit. Yes, that's good. So let's come back in here, select the button, come right here. That is going to be total. So let's call that txt to a b btn total. btn total, and this is going to be btn btn reset. Um, come right here and to reset that right down proceed in there and this is going to be exit no reset copy and that is btn btn there we go okay for the reset double click on that and let's reset everything back so number I said number milk dot value equals that. Okay, that should work for all of them anyway. So let's repeat the same thing for the others. Number bins there and number bread paste number wine paste number milk there we go all right that's fine now let's come in here and see these ones let's see if it's gonna work come on now enter some values okay reset that's cool and even this one they all defaulted back to zero so maybe I should just change all of these to pounds that will be the default value in there so you select all of these come right down here and just change them to pound dot zero zero for all there that's much better okay now the reset is taken care of. We now need to reset every one of these. So come in here. Um, LBL beans dot text equals let's pound pound zero there. So we repeat the same thing for the others. Copy right down here LDL uh, beans bread okay LDL rice paste LDL let's go for two dollars well there LDL wine paste LDL milk there paste so that is taken care of 
Yeah, we need one more. This very guy here. That should be default router zero. That's item number or number LBL number of item. There. The text equals there because we just reset. Them. So that is all taken care of. Now let's come in here. Double click on this very one here. Let's see. I'm gonna copy this anyway and let's do it again. Come down here, double click on beans. Oh beans is done. Okay. Double click on mine. Oh it's all done. Yeah, that's right. It's all taken care of. Now we need to add up everything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create let's create an array. Come up here and I'm just gonna declare something. Yeah, right underneath here. Let's a dim items as array let's go for about nine i can always change or do whatever with that so item the very first item let's go straight to total double click on total where's total double click on total paste that in there so it's the very first array is zero so that would be equals to whatever value we have in here that is for beans i need that of I'm going to need that of beans as well anyway so let's try to arrange them in order that would be for beans and so on we have five of those yeah that's good right so this one is going to be one two three and four now um, I know that of beans is number two there this one is bread where is bread now that's bread grab that of bread bring it down gotcha now the next one is oh rice rice okay beans is number three rice is second one all right move beans down on here that's number rice dot value multiply by rice there and this is going to be for wine number y dot value multiply by wine then finally we have number milk number milk dot value and multiply by milk there we go now we now need to add up all of these so I'm going to say item item number five equals add this Plus this, there. So this is going to be one, two, three. Undo that. Three and four. So we just added all of those all together now. Now we now need to add everything together this let's let's run it first I need to see I just need to check up on something okay we enter value here I need this to increment so I need the name of that as well so the name of that is what there we go that's good so paste that in there text equals items five there so we're able to get that the total of that so we let's see there total okay we have that why do we have point 
that's incorrect okay that's not right so let's come in there that should have been just 10 because i'm just oh okay i get it now <laughs> all right this is wrong okay this can be used for the total that's fine we we'll use that for the total okay that's going to be for the total why this is just what we add up okay we get that now this is just all of this we're going to get rid of this anyway so i'm going to copy this so there might be two arrays one is going to be local i'm going to use this for total and this total i might as well just format that format to currency there we go now down here i'm going to create a local variable i'm just going to call it q come right down here and get rid of everything here no not everything just this one so that i can get the correct value in there and this is going to be that to be six or i can just create an array in there as well q9 so this is going to be Q1. Q2. Okay. Yeah. Come on. All right. Now come right down here. LDL. Number of items. Dot text equals q5 there and q5 is going to be the total of everything here and one more there so this is zero array is always start from zero one that's two, three, and four. There we go. All right, that's fine. I'm going to run it. Run. Let's take it from there. Okay, whatever we enter in here, we have one there, two, that's six, ten, and then eleven. We have 11 there we go that's much better so if we decrease this anything we can also find the total there that's much better add this together that's eight okay all that is left for us to do now is to take care of the receipts all right for the receipts i'm gonna first of all exit out and let's come back in here select this and select this as well let's see if we can even underline those ones come right here and is the underline yeah there is underline yeah grab one of these and just drag it here and we call that receipt let's come right here and look for let's look for which text box where is it which text box there draw that in here there we go and on the rich text box we just need to be able to list all of these and just paste them in there so we double click on receipt 